Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here today to build um, the 100, 180 degree angle fold, figure number 22, from the elements of pop up. It is this pop up right here, this pop up structure. So you can see this opens to, a, to 180 degrees, and it's, uh, it's dimensional and movement. So we're, we're creating, a, remember, angle folds create movement and um, structural dimension. So to start off with, I'm going to show you a few different things. Um, this is what I showed last week. And this is the 108, this is the 90 degree angle fold. It's, it's a dimension when it's at 90 degrees, but when it's open all the way to 180, it's basically flat. Okay, so if you're tipping a piece on like this, these are these two pieces are both exactly the same. If you, tip, if you want to tip a piece on and make this piece go completely flat, um, I recommend making the angle that you attach it a little bit less. You see the difference? Just a little bit less. A little bit less. Because if you try to make it exactly the same like it is here, just the bulk or the, or the thickness of the paper is going to prevent that piece from opening all the way, and you'll get some resistance. So the first piece I'm doing here is going to travel, it's going to, uh, going to uh, go all the way. Oops. Okay. Um, it's going to travel the most. The wider the angle here, the more this piece will travel. But if you get too wide, what happens is the pop-up doesn't really work well. So I'm going to glue this piece in place. This is the first one. And, and sometimes it does it, it does change the way the pop-up works if you fold the tab back. See, that's folding it back, and this is folding it forward. Back and forward. I'm going to fold this one forward. A little bit of glue on this. Okay. Hold that in place. And you can see that it's um, that all the angles aren't exactly the same because look what happens to that center fold here. There's a center fold, and you can see that the center fold on this pop-up is moving a little bit that direction. That just tells you things aren't exactly the same. Okay, fold it in place, put a little bit of glue on this. We really have to get this uh, paper to bind well because this pop up, this structure, when it opens this wide, is going to have a good deal of stress on it. You're asking the paper to do a lot of work here. I'm going to go ahead and cheat here a little bit. So anyway, that's that. That's the one. That's a 180 degree angle fold that's made with a very wide angle. And this piece actually moves a lot. A lot of movement there, a lot of travel. Okay, but not very much dimension. So when the, when the page is open to 100 to 180 degrees, this will have a little bit of dimension. That's just, just because of the bulk of the paper, really. But not a lot. But a lot of movement. The second one I'm going to do here the angle of attachment on the page is a good deal less than the width of the angles on the actual pop-up pop up itself. So let's see what happens here, where you change so that the angle of attachment is less than the angle of the, um, the pop-up itself. So this is the second piece. Slip that in here. Once again, I'm folding that forward, not backwards, forward. Notice that set that, that top piece has to go in between. <laughs> pop up there okay there you go it had to sandwich behind in behind the this 
forward layer. Okay, you hold that really nice and tight, give this baby the glue. And get a nice fiber bond on that. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Hold it in place. But now you see with the narrow the narrower angle on the base page, this, this pop-up stands up further. Okay, so you can experiment with angles, but just, just remember, um, attaching the pop-up piece at angles a little bit less than the angles on the piece itself will, will um, cause the, the, the pop-up to stand up in dimension. Although it'll get a little less movement. Watch it. Look at the amount of movement here. The wider angle is, is going to move a little bit farther. Than the narrow angle. Okay, and this is an example of this pop up in one of my books. So this is this is a simple angle fold. Of course, there's some other pieces attached, but you can see how that angle fold works. And this is in dimension. It stands up in dimension when this is open all the way. This pop up is in a little bit of, of, of dimension. Okay, there you go. That's the 180 degree angle fold pop up, the basic one of the most basic pop up structures. There you go. Thank you.